Hello, I'm Pontorno, to beautiful Lake Lugano. As I mentioned in my video of the city of Lugano, I was planning to explore the surrounding area, especially the incredible nature. When you're in Switzerland, it's impossible not to go hiking and experience the Alps. So I did the same. There are several mountains that all give a great view of the lake. While doing research, I figured that Monte Generoso is a perfect choice because it's only 20 minutes from Lugano and I was curious about the small terrain that takes you up the mountain. So, please join me in a short but breathtaking hike on Lake Lugano. We start our trip in Lugano, more precisely the central train station. Several trains will get you there, all of which are going in the general direction of Como o Chiasso, which is the last city on the Swiss side of the border. We are taking the regional train to a small village called Capolago Riva San Vitale, which takes around 15 to 20 minutes. While the beginning of the journey looks like this, shortly afterwards it became this. If you remember from my video on the city of Lugano, this trip, as well as any means of public transportation, is free in the canton. If you are the proud holder of a Ticino Pass, it is free for tourists. It also gives a discount on the small mountain train, so make sure not to buy a ticket on the grants, but at the station. Right across from the platform, there's a small orange train that goes straight up the top of Monte Generoso. The trip up the mountain in and of itself is worth making because of the absolutely stunning views of the lake and the surrounding area from this cute train. However, so far we've only been on trains and not hiking as we said before, but we're going to change that now. Instead of going all the way to the top, we get off at Bella Vista, the last stop before the summit to hike the remaining one and a half hours to offset the kilos of ice cream that we had eaten. The hike itself is very easily doable, with helpful signs and a well-maintained footpath. Did I mention the views? While we're making our way up to the top, it's a great moment to kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel to not miss my future travel videos. Even though the views were incredible and I really enjoyed being outdoors, breathing in the air of the Swiss Alps, I was quite happy when I finally saw the top of the mountain. That excitement was quickly gone, however, when I saw a sign that would indicate that we were still almost half an hour away. I did make it to the station dry, even though it felt like rain the whole time. However, at the top I was not as lucky with the weather, but more on that later. Once we get to the fancy building that houses restaurants and a small art gallery, it is still a short hike to the very top. After a short break, we gather all we have left to reach the summit. Wanting to enjoy this view, of course, we decide to ignore our tired legs and make our way up. And there, after a strenuous and exhausting hike, we reach the summit to enjoy the gorgeous view of the lake that makes up for all the energy and time that it cost us and... Oh, oh never mind. Fuck. Yeah, well, somehow I did not expect that the fog that we saw the whole way up would block our view from the top. However, we do not want to come here all the way up for nothing, so let's wait for the fog to disappear. Thankfully, the weather did clear up and we can have a great view of the lake. Because I wasn't too excited about my bread rolls with avocado, I decided to eat french fries for 7 francs and make myself down the mountain back to Lugano, which is an incredibly charming and stunning town. If you're curious to learn more, please check out my video on it. See you next time.